Hi, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator, and at last this Picasso cage has finally arrived. So, um, yeah, as I was saying to you before, this is the nine inch Picasso sleeve. Um, and where are we? So I've got the three quarter and that one, which is their thickest one. But as you can see, they're not big rollers, so you're not going to get like a lot. You know, some of the three quarters on other rollers, the nap's quite big hell to wash out and stuff that's the bit i don't enjoy is the washing up washing out and all that sort of stuff so anyway this picasso uh nine inch frame so this is the proper frame for this roller sleeve because it's a 1.75 core which is this like circumference here so um when it first arrived i thought oh my god look it's just a, a couple of them did break so the um Top decoration, decorating supplies are sending out um, another couple of replacements. But, yeah, when it all arrived, it was like, oh God, are these sturdy enough? Are they any good? But when you look here, there's two quick release things there. So if you just pinch them together, do you see what I'm saying? It comes off. So you can imagine the sleeve will be attached to that. You could drop that straight into a bag. And that stays nice and clean, which I think is a fantastic idea. Really good idea. So let's try and get that back on. Um, line it up. Hang on, I've got the camera here. So so there, I've done it now. It just clips back in. So I think when you're ready to use the sleeve again, you'll obviously hold the sleeve on a bag, click it back in, away you go again. So that's a really good idea. And that's called the... Um, that's, that's their new... Um, where we headlock um, so yeah I think it's a great idea um, let's see how sturdy it is while using it I'm just gonna start loading up the paint and then um, we'll start painting out this room so before I start I've dipped this in water and scraped off all the excess just to get just to get it going and um, you know any like loose fibers from when it was manufactured so I found, <laughs> I was trying to put it on and it wouldn't fit. I was like, oh my God, it doesn't even fit. But you see what I'm saying? But what it has, it's got this end cap on. But what you do is you quick release the roller and then you put it in that way. Okay. And then just, you can see it in there. So that will click. Let's hang on, I've just got, I've got to hold the camera as well. But let's just click that back in so we know where we are. Um... I just want to try and see if I can do it. All right, let's just try and do it. Where are we? So it's hard because I'm trying to hold the camera as well. Uh, lovely jubbly, right. There we go. So we've got it on there. So all that, so when we're done, as I say, we'll just pinch these together. That drops straight into a bag, you see. And if you want to take that out as well, it's just, it's going to make cleaning so easy. Look at that. What a great design. Oh, fantastic. So, um, yeah, don't panic if you think, oh, it's not fitting. Just uh, take this this middle core out and then put it on like that and then click it in like that. That's that's the way to do it. Right. Let's get going. So set up here, as you can see, I've got the Worcester attachment. So I'll screw it into the bottom of the cage. Got the quick release button there. So you'll find this attachment at the bottom of your pole. Look, it's hollow, but it does come with one. Or you can buy spare ones from my paintbrush. So I've got the sleeves off my paintbrush and I've got the cages from Top Decorating Supplies online. And they're, they're both fantastic companies online to deal with. Really, really good help. They always help paint and decorators out, you know, um always got all the latest american gear as well fantastic new ideas coming out all the time so you got to keep up with everything so um i'm going to start rolling now and we'll see how sturdy it is right so i'm loading up so i've took it off the pole for a minute so i'm just holding it like with that attachment on the end so but it feels lovely and comfortable to hold as well nice big handle on it you know really nice and when i'm putting it on yeah that feels good nice movement 
you know, it's not whistling, it's not stiff, it's really good movement on that. Really good. So, so far, I'm just well impressed with it all. I love the mechanism. What a game changer, eh? For washing kit out. You know, take it all apart, clean it, that'll stay nice. Like the arm on it as well. You know, really sturdy, sturdy roller sleeve. So, remember that mechanism. You, you Really, it's best to get the proper Picasso cage for the Picasso 9-inch roller. So, this is going to be my go-to cage from now on for doing rooms. Basically, I always use about a 9-inch usually on walls um if it's a big massive room then 12 inch or something 12 to 8, 18 inches on the ceiling but i've shown you these come in 12s and 18s as well three quarters of a nap all the way and it gives you a lovely kind of sort of spray like texture it's beautiful so it's not too thick because you you think oh that's for rough surfaces but it's not I'm telling you now it leaves a lovely lovely finish nice even finish so my go-to now are these Picasso sleeves um, and also Picasso cages. But for your 12s and your 18s, you can get the, um, you know, the extendable kind of like arms, um, either the Worcester one or the Arrowworthy one. And both top decorating supplies and my paintbrush sell them. So, yeah, again, Americans, fantastic. That's the way to go, honestly. What, what, what a cage and what a setup. With the pole as well, Worcester pole. I'm well away. So anyway, I highly recommend that gear. Highly recommend it. So thank you for watching. And um, please subscribe to the channel for more hints, tips and reviews on painting and decorating. Cheers.